Okay, I want you to take a look at this. It's very full, right to the top. And I've also got a whole bunch of it in my compost bin. Now, if you followed me uh, for any length of time, uh, you probably saw my other video. It was actually a short where I was cleaning up the yard. And uh, picked up all those leaves. I want you to take a look at something. All the leaves are back. And why is that? Well, our lovely red oak tree is uh, still dropping leaves. And then today, it poured rain. You see, what I wanted to do was just be prepared. I picked up as much of the leaves as I can. Let me show you. Trust the process. Trust the process. Even knowing that uh, the leaves were going to continue to fall, but I just didn't want a yard filled with leaves that was going to get all wet and be really difficult to clean up. So I prepared, I acted, and I'm glad I did. Still got the Christmas tree up. Yeah, we like to keep it up for a while, even if it's after Christmas. <laughs> and then if you look over here, the pickle is still there. She hasn't found it yet. Now, I'm not one of those real over-prepper kinds of guys. See if I can get this thing on. There. So, canister right here. But I tell you, um, I'd rather prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's kind of how I am. Um, and then to have and not need instead of need and not have. Kind of like my pantry. See, I... Uh, I have a relatively small pantry. I don't even have a light to show you what's going on in there. Do I have a way to light this? Oh, you know, I have a flashlight. All right, so I, I got, you know, the basics, the necessities, the things that I reach for every single day. And then up here, you know, stuff like granola and instant oatmeal, raisin bran. I love me my raisin bran. And then of course, old, old fashioned oats. Yeah. And then, you know, there's some other stuff up there. In here, this is my clothes closet. And if you take a look, uh, not only does it double as my clothes closet, it's also a pantry where I like to keep multiples of things. So, you know, there's, here's look. I, I I store a little bit of granola because you know, shooting gal loves the granola. Um, some shredded wheat, raisin bran, like I told you, I, I love raisin bran, and then some extra oatmeal. And you know, I'll keep one in the other cupboard, and I'll keep two in here. I'm kind of just that way. These are actually really good olives. And yes, I have a backup. Now, why am I bringing all this up? I don't know when you're watching this, but I just picked up on my news feed, something that was rather interesting. Uh, Warren Buffett just sold shares of his stock split. Uh, that He had some Amazon, Amazon just split their stock. Take a look at Amazon soaring after hours. The company just announcing a 20 for one stock split. Uh, and the question is, should you? Well, um, when when guys like Warren Buffett, and you know, I, I, don't, I don't hold anybody higher than anybody else, but when I do look at Warren Buffett, he's made some pretty good strategic uh, and well-placed uh, finance investment decisions, and he's done quite well for himself. So it's at least something that I take in and go, hmm, I wonder what's happening. I wonder if he knows something. I wonder if something is about to happen that I just haven't been paying attention to, that maybe he's been paying attention to. And it's because of that that, um, you know, I tend to be a little more um, preppy, or try to be prepared. Like I said, I, I would rather have more oatmeal and not need it than to need some oatmeal and not have it. Okay, by the time you see this, Christmas is already over, gifts have already been given, and I trust you had a really nice Christmas. Merry Christmas if I haven't told you already. Uh, but, you know, if there's something that you didn't get that you wish you got, now may be the time to get it. Um, and think in terms of what if I need it and don't have it. Like a two-way radio. Huh. 
I got a couple of them. You should probably get a couple too. They're inexpensive. Be prepared because when the cell towers go down, you'll at least have some radio contact uh, or at least be able to hear other people squawking and talking and Intel is always very valuable. So I'm going to encourage it. And even if it's only the weather, it's valuable to know. Okay, I'm in the other room in the house and uh, I'm talking on the talk about to the Baofeng. Okay, let me, let me show you one last thing. It's uh, that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I have yet to get the wire that I need to get this thing fixed. Here's the, here's the part. Remember this part? Take a look at that other video. Look at that. <laughs> it no work. Um, I, I've got to hardwire this thing. I, I, I screwed it up. I screwed it up real bad. And so it's on the bench. I'll get it working again. And I think what I'm going to do is get the same battery that I got for um, this guy. And this is still... Yeah, see, it's still operational. Look at that. It's not super, super bright. I've used it a little bit. It's probably time to crank it up. Hang on, let's crank it up. Yeah, there you go. Pretty bright. Let's turn the lights out, see what happens. Yeah, like I said, um, and you know that other guy that uh, was getting rid of eight or ten of his things? He never got a hold of me. I reached out. I said, gosh, if you just want to ship them to me, I'll fix them all because I could use them. <laughs> Maybe I'll give them to the homeless. Yeah, somebody out there in the street might like a little bit of light. Yeah, starting to rain again. I hope you have a happy new year, 2024, depending on when you watch this may have already happened. Uh, it's about to happen for us. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Uh, I'll check in with you guys. I love you all. Merry Christmas to you. Happy New Year. I hope that 2024 is good. hope you prepare for the worst, yet hope for the best. I do. And uh, just be prepared. Canister. Here. It's better to have and not need than to need and not have. Those are wise words. I heard somebody say that once before. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video.